back on the bus. Go ahead and turn it on. Over here. So now I have the cut made. I'm gonna go stick it in the bus. All right, and just like that, the second toe kick is a go. Super nice, guys. I'm very happy about how these turned out. All right, I've got it together. So I'm gonna have the drawer go from here to right here. That way you're not seeing this when the drawer is open. Like I don't want that to be seen. So I want it to literally just be a straight up drawer. All right, here goes our lineup. Super exciting. Now it's time to go put them in the shop just so, you know, fall doesn't happen on them. <laughs> and get them started to paint, yay. So here we are back in the shop. I laid all the pieces down and even though it is technically sanded plywood, I'm gonna sand them again just because I made cuts. I'm the Sandman. <laughs> Bruh. It looks great. It kind of looks better in person, I'll be real. But yeah, it's drying now. The other faces for the cabinets and everything, they're still drying. So now I'm gonna focus on the bathroom. What I'm gonna do first is grab the pan stick it in here and see if my quarter inch plywood is gonna go all the way down and meet like the floor and go past like stay on the sides of the plywood I mean the pan or if it needs to go above the pan so let me go grab that okay so pan is in the shower it looks like we have um, plenty of room to put the quarter inches on the sides um, if there's, there's a gap up here, but it's not pushing forward anymore. As you can see, it's, it's pushed forward as much as possible. And it doesn't look like we have a gap back here. Okay, so I have my scrap pieces of wood. They're all touching the bottom of the floor right now, so they do fit. Uh, the only concern that I have is, you know, it's kind of pushing against the pan a little bit, and I don't know how well, like over here is fine. As you can see, it's not bending. It's perfect. It could literally go all the way down. But over here, I kind of stopped it because it started to curve and I don't know how well that would like take up the space. I have no idea. I feel like it'll be fine. And then as for the back, it was a very tight squeeze, but I did manage to get it in there. Again, there's like a curve over on the side. So we'll see. I think it'll be okay. But I am super excited to put these walls in because dang, it's been a minute since I've even seen the shower pan. I forgot what it looked like. I was like, where did it go? Okay, so I just got done making my cut and right now I'm trying to fit it in the shower and see what we can do. Okay. But hey, I got a wall. That's the one. Yeah, because it's even tight at the bottom. So I'll probably trim off a quarter inch or so. It's like the perfect screw size crack. Okay. So yeah, guys, we can definitely use this as the curve for the walls on both sides. So I am less intimidated by that. Awesome. So we'll put that to the side for a moment. And we're back again. Take three. Okay. 
kill him. Yo. Yo, I got a wall. I feel like it's still a little too high, but honestly, I think I might keep it that way because it can bend A. B, I still need to make other stuff and adjust to it, so. Roasty, that's amazing. I made a freaking wall. Oh, I'm lit. I'm so proud of myself. Okay. Now what I gotta do is make the cutout for the window. Yes, I almost forgot about that. So I will go ahead and measure where the window starts and stops and then make a cutout right here. Look at it in all of its glory. Ah, okay. Oh, my mouse gone. Went ahead and trimmed off another half inch. I hope I don't have to trim it again. <laughs> It's touching the ceiling, which is really what I wanted to make sure it was still at the top here. So even when I bend it up against the wall, it's it's going back. Best believe. And it goes all the way down at the bottom. Oh, this is perfect. Yeah, boy. Voila. Hi. Okay. I am super happy with that. Couple things. First thing. Always measure, bro. Even if you think the height is gonna be the same, it is definitely not. So I didn't take into fact that the bus literally curves, so it's obviously gonna be higher up here than it is back here. So it's not tall enough. B, I measured out to the end of this when the end of the shower pan ends here, not over here. So I need to make sure that I'm cutting out, it was an inch and a half this way, and then I gotta cut down, I'm still making that measurement, probably like three and a half inches. All right, moving on to framing the window. You might say, Jess, it's already framed out. Well, basically it is, but I need to add more studs. Okay, so I think I made my decision. I'm going to put a two by two here, here, and up here to cover up the um, opening area here because I only want the glass scene I know I need to fix that but I only want this scene when you come in the bathroom like just like that oh that looks beautiful right so just that needs to be seen because I've tried to open the window with this wall in the way and it's not possible so I feel the only way I'd be able to open it is if someone was here which is going to be very rare because I'm doing this solo and yeah, I feel like it wouldn't be that big of a deal if I couldn't open this window. Even though it is next to my stove and it would be nice to have, you know, some flow going that way. I have a fan. I have this little thing, majig emergency exit hatch. I have every single other window will open. So it's like, and the back door and the front doors. So I have plenty of airflow. I'm not worried about that. I just really didn't want to have to take a window out, you know, but hmm, who knows? I might keep it just in case, you know, cause then if I put it up officially, it, it won't be able to be taken down. So I don't know. I'll just have to paint this black cause I never did go back and paint most of them. I stopped over here, like this part's black, this part's black. That one is still silver. That one's still silver, but the outline is black. So I never finished because gosh darn, that is tedious. So yeah, maybe after painting it black, I'll like it. So I'm gonna go get the paint. I'm gonna paint that black. I'm also gonna finish painting the cabinets and then I might just call it a day after that. It's going great. You already know the bus is pink. I put some backsplash on my steps. Fixed the mat, got a new headliner. Um, I'm doing the bathroom today. Um, I'm running out of daylight so I might finish tomorrow. Then I started painting, put some hinges on my little things and I'm already using them for storage. I uh, have the stove in. I'm making drawer faces right now. They're actually drying. I just painted them and I made those drawers. Kitchen's coming along. I'm going to pick up the countertop tomorrow. Um, all the electric's done. All the water's done. This is just my junk pile right now. And then I put a board up just so it wouldn't slide around when I dry. But yeah, it's looking super cute. It's almost there. We're getting there. 
Alrighty, this is how everything dried, guys. I'm super happy with the result. This is definitely what I wanted, just like a very smooth, flat finish. It's beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip them over and do the other side. The sun is down, so I think I'm done for the day. I already locked up the bus too, so we're good to go. I'm back and go inside and play Fortnite. Eee! Thank you so much for joining me, guys. I really appreciate it. You're awesome as always. I will catch you tomorrow.